Hey everyone! So a lot of you posted that you wanted to see a big collective haul of everything that I've gotten in the past few weeks. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the bag. This thing went into the bag. I took a trip to Mac yesterday and I got the eyeshadow 15 cool neutral palette. These colors are so pigmented. If you guys want like a separate video on this or like a tutorial of this, let me know. I from Sephora, I got the Cover FX, it's dirty because I used it today, Cover FX Custom Blending Brush. It's supposed to have 84,000 bristles in it that will blend any make sure that you make with the custom cover drop. I really, really like this for foundation. I used this today and yesterday, and it is awesome. It's so good. And then I got the CoverGirl Lip Lava in Mava Lava, but that doesn't really look mauve to me. That looks pretty red. I'll swatch it for you guys. Oh, wow. This is super pretty. Super pigmented. So there's the swatch there. You guys can kind of tell. It's super pigmented. Those lip lavas really are. Then I got the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. This is their like brand new mascara release. So it's really, really spiky, and the spikes are really short. They kind of fall apart, and I didn't notice any volumizing, lengthening. It just made my lashes black and sti sticky. They stuck together a lot with this, so I was not super impressed. The Smashbox 24-hour primer for your eyes. I love this. I have really oily eyelids, and that might sound super, super weird, but I have really oily eyelids. This is the only primer that keeps my eyeshadow on and not creasing and not getting oily, like my face does. This is amazing. And I got this in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so it was like $10 when I got it. It goes on sale. So that's really good. I love this. I highly recommend this. Next, I got the NYX lip liner in the shade Mauve. I wanted to get this because it was supposed to be a dupe for MAC Sore. So there it is right there. I'm not sure I haven't tested them next to each other yet, but I, I, when I get to Sore in the bag, I definitely was, um, so the Disney has kind of teamed up with Walgreens, I guess, and come out with like makeup lines. Like they came out with the Disney Princess Beauty books. They came out with uh, now they're doing the villain uh, beauty books, and they released this blush with the Evil Queen collection, and this is Jealous. Look at that. That's insane. Like, what? That's nuts. Like, it's gorgeous. It is, honestly, it's a dupe for NARS's orgasm blush. At least on my skin tone, it is. I love this. It's, oh my god. Next is the NYX blush in taupe, which I don't know if this happens to any of you guys, but mine, like, I don't abuse it or anything, mine just, like, crumbles and breaks. I'm like, what is that? Like, I don't like that, I'm gonna have to fix that later. But this is the NYX blush in taupe, and 
I use this to contour. Um, it's super, super cool tone. And it's not super pigment. Like, it's pigmented, don't get me wrong. But it's not super, super pigmented. So that I can, you know, contour with it and not be afraid that I'm going to look, you know, like etched out. The next thing I got is the Wet n Wild face and body glitters. Um, this one is in bleached and it's like a gel formula kind of. And then you just sweep it on and it's supposed to stay there forever. Not forever but oh, a good while. It's supposed to stay. I got the In Steam blush from the bomb and I got it in the shade Argyle. It's a gorgeous pink. And this is what it looks like. Super, super pigmented. And these last so freaking long. It's ridiculous. Like I cannot believe that it lasts so long. This thing got Mac Soar, so now I can finally put it to the test. They are not dupes. So that is the NYX Mauve, and this is Soar. Soar has a lot more pink and a lot more dimension in it, and this is more of like a brown nude. Um, but I did get Soar. Love the look of Kylie Jenner's lips. So I decided to get Soar and I love it. I love Soar. Soar is an awesome, awesome, awesome lip pencil. I got another custom cover effects, custom cover drops. I love these. They're the like little dropper concentrate that you mix in with like foundations, oils, uh, primers. Mine is in N. 10 and that was the lightest neutral shade that they had because I'm not really pink, I'm not really golden, I'm much more neutral in the middle. So N10 is almost dead on. I think if I mixed N0 and N10, it would be perfect. It's like N5. If there was an N5, I think I'd I think I'd be N5. Like right now, I think I'd be N5. But in the winter, I, I think I'd be N0. So next, I got the Ulta Gel Eyeliner. And this is in Dove Gray. And this color... Like... What? I've never seen a color like this. It's like a, like a purpley gray. That's what it is. It's gorgeous. I got another Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz. I use the shade taupe for my red hair. I did have platinum blonde hair and I still used taupe. I think it's a really good. It's what's in my eyebrows right now. And it, I think it's a great really neutral color that I think any really any hair color could wear. Because if you can go really heavy handed with this and your eyebrows will be super super dark. Or you can go more light and then your eyebrows are going to be you know just kind of like a light Filling of your brows. Next, I got the Ulta Glitter Top Coat, and this is in high maintenance. And just a black with sparkly glitter. So pretty. This is not swatch. So I'm not going to swatch it for you. You'll just see it on my eyes eventually in a tutorial or something, if you guys want. And I got this to try. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Clear Skin Swirled Mattifier. This is supposed to mattify your skin, but also hydrate it and prime for makeup. This has so many claims. Um, instantly reduces the look of blemishes, shine, and pores. Neutralizes the appearance of redness with a subtle green tint that absorbs into the skin. It's 
super, super excited to try this because I love my Murad oil control mattifier. That is like $40 and this was 9 for 10, 12 mats. So I, I really want to love this. Then I got the Essence lip liner and in the nude. Beautiful, beautiful, peachy, gorgeous nude. I love it. It reminds me a lot of the NYX um, automatic lip liner in nude. It's that same kind of like peachy nude. Then I got the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Fourth Jaw Eyeliner in 001 Black. I have not tried this yet. I re oh. Wow, that is super black, super black, super pigmented. I'm going to try this out maybe tomorrow. Maybe. And I got the NYX lip liner in nude pink. I went kind of crazy with the lip liners and lippies in general. There's definitely a ton of lippies in this. So that is nude pink. Then I another beauty blender um i just washed it out today for the first time so that's why it looks kind of wet but this one is so soft i love the beauty blender i love the beauty blender nothing compares nothing then i got matte light scapade oh my god i love light scapade so much it's so pretty Oh my god, this is seriously just amazing. And I got the It Cosmetics Naturally, sorry, there's a bug in it, NYX. It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. Um, I've been eyeing this for quite some time. I've used it quite a bit since I got it. I'll put um, Sunset in the Crease that or like blend sunset up then really pack on java in the crease and then use sheer joy as my highlight and blend it all together on top of actually another new track which is my maybelline color tattoo in bad to the bronze so i put this all over the lid and then i will use my naturally pretty palette and then i will go in with one of my two face bulletproof pencils. I got these on 21 Days of Beauty too. I got a silver lining. I'll swatch them all for you. So I got silver lining, purple rain. Oh my god, purple rain is gorgeous, you guys. Um, mink, this is the bronze one that I use in like my everyday looks. Like, I seriously, I don't go a day doing bronze eyes without mink. Then, ooh and ah. And then, blackout. I already have a blackout that I am currently using. So, silver lining, purple rain, mink, ooh and ah, and blackout. I love these. I seriously, I love them. Those are top, top notch. I got the, I jumped on a bag wagon, bandwagon, and I got the Max, Max Fix Plus. Um, it's a super fine mist. It smells awesome. And it smells everything metallic and awesome. And if you have oily skin, it's not going to make you more oily. I got the NYX lip liner in Peekaboo which actually looks no no it doesn't so this is peekaboo neutral i really like that one too um then i got this i got actually today the neutrogena healthy skin brightening eye perfector and i'm in the shade I 
it's so you can't even see it because it's like my skin tone but like right in here is the concealer please ignore, ignore that I was in the ER today but that is the concealer it looks really yellow on camera which really really concerns me um, because it's not yellow in real life at all um, next I got the MAC lipstick in Viva Glam 4. I saw this in the store and I died. I had to have it. And if you look at, oh god, I just totally did that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Then I got another, another Wet n Wild Bear It All lipstick. Um, or no, this is Milk Delicious. Sorry. I did get another bear at all, but this one's more delicious. I don't like this one. This was supposed to be a dupe for MAC lipstick, and it's not. But any way, shape, or form. Okay, I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstars Black Eyeliner. Because, you know, super, super black. I'm not trying this out yet. I think I will tomorrow. I got, got this awesome Kat Von D lipstick. I love this now. Look, look, look. Look. I am a sucker for anything that is like matte, but still kind of metallic. Especially in like a berry or a red. I think these lipsticks by Kat Von D are awesome. I think she hit them right, like hit the nail right on the head. They're great. I got the It Cosmetics Vitality Stain Gloss in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Um, and it just goes on clear with any regular lip gloss. And then it changes to like your personal shade of pink. It's actually super, super flattering. Next, I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara. There's a primer on one end and a mascara on the other. I didn't like this. The fibers got in my eyes. During the day, it was really bad. I did not enjoy it. I got this Ulta Lip Liner in Earth <laughs> Eyeliner in Plum. And there it is. It's just a really pretty plum. It's a nice plum. I enjoy it. Then I got the Revlon Lip Butter in Ruffle. I've been eyeing this one for so long, but when I had blonde hair, it looked terrible on me. And then when I dyed my hair red, I decided to give it another try. And there it is, and it's awesome. Oh my god, I love the Revlon Butters so much. I think they are amazing. 